mundo. Oi, gente. Tranquilo? Tudo, Tudo certo aí? Tá prendendo isso aqui. Fica babado isso aqui em cima de mim. Ok. Então, gente, no último vídeo que eu fiz, eu falei... Sobre o verbo to be, só que eu não terminei, tá lindo, olha, maravilhoso. Não terminei falando sobre o verbo to be, que foi a frases, as frases é, interrogativas, certo? Como que eu faço a frase interrogativa? Eu vou trocar a posição do pronome e do verbo to be. Primeiro virar o verbo to be e depois o pronome, ok? Exemplo, am I... Are you, is he, is she, is it, are you, are we, are they? Ok? Então, na interrogativa, eu apenas troco, ok? A posição, primeiro o verbo to be, depois o pronome. Não esqueça do question mark, ok? Muita gente esquece de colocar lá o bonitinho na interrogação, ok? Outra coisa, uh, vamos a alguns exemplos de verbo to be, né? Ok? Na frase. I am an English teacher. Ok? I'm an English teacher. Are you a teacher? No, I'm not an English teacher. Ok? Are you a student? Yes, I am a student. No, I'm not a student. Is he your friend? Yes, he is my friend. No, he isn't my friend. Okay? Are they friends? Yes, they are friends. No, they aren't friends. Or... They are not friends, ok? Continuando sobre o verbo to be, a gente vai para o simple past of verb to be. Past, simple past não, past of be, ok? We have was and were, ok? Was and were, in past. Past of verb to be was you were. Uh, quando que eu vou usar was? Que já sabemos que o verbo to be é auxiliar dele mesmo, certo? E no caso aí vai ser was ou were. Quando que eu vou usar was? Was eu uso para I, he, she, it. Were para you, we and they. Ok? Uh, então, se eu digo no presente eu sou, eu estou, no passado seria o quê? Eu era, eu estava, ela era, ela estava, ok? Uh, voltando então aí, vai ficar como na afirmativa? I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, you were, we were, They were, ok? Negativa. I wasn't, you weren't, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't, you weren't, they weren't. Interrogative. Was I, were you... Was he, was she, was it, were you, were we, were they? Ok? Alguns exemplos. Uh, were you happy? I was happy. I wasn't happy. Were they at home? They were at home. They weren't at home. Ok? 
Então, gente, nós fizemos o verbo to be no presente, a continuaçãozinha foi nesse vídeo, e agora a gente terminou o verbo to be no passado. Espero que tenham gostado. Estudem, ok? See you next weekend. Have a great, great holidays. Bye, bye.